to the next topic here. Uh, this one's, you know, back to being a little more serious. And we're going to talk about the University of South Carolina. Uh, the good news is Columbia is uh, still planning on welcoming students back to campus this fall. The bad news is... Uh, there won't be any fall break observed as the school is attempting to look uh, uh, ahead to any potential return of the coronavirus during flu season. Uh, South Carolina released its official fall schedule on Monday, and what they decided was classes are going to start on August 20th. <laughs> McKinnon said, just a couple weeks, you're damn right I will. Uh, Matt said, first world countries are the only one with PC problems because we don't have to walk five miles a day to get water. Uh, yeah, you damn right about that. I yeah, think we'd look no, at life a little differently. That's how I know we're the greatest country in the world. That's how I know we're still the greatest country in the world. Yep. Because we fight about the dumbest shit on the planet. Oh, yeah. Uh, September 7th, Labor Day is going to be a remote class day. Classes will be held online and asynchronous for all classes. October 15th and 16th, fall break is canceled. Classes will be held on these days. Uh, November 3rd, General Election Day will be a remote class day. Classes will be held online and asynchronous for all classes. November 24th, Face-to-face -face instruction will end. So basically, all the little doodad days here and there that you would typically get off, uh, you're not. And, and you're probably going to do remote. Like you're going to do online. But they out of school earlier. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. They have Thanksgiving break, November 25th through the 29th. Yep. And then November 30th, they have remote class day. December 1st, remote class day. December 2nd through the 4th is reading days. And then December 7th through the 14th, final exams. Now, what makes this a little bit weird Face-to-face -face instruction ends on November 24th. South Carolina closes the season at Clemson on the 28th. So, what does that matter? Face-to-face uh, -face instruction. Agreed. But the, they're not closing campus. They're like kicking athletes, people out. At, well, no, 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 they're not. But they, well, uh, mm. No, they're not. They're absolutely not. Right now, they are not saying they're closing campus. And you can they're stay just, they're on just campus closing. over Christmas break all the time. I did it. That's true. That's true. That is true. So they they're going to keep people I guess on campus, but you will not be asked to come to class after you November. You don't 24th. have an in class thing. I don't think this is a problem. I, I don't I think, think it's a problem is, either. I don't, like I think at this all. is a this is a president. I think it's an interesting way to go about it. Trying to foresee a problem in the future and beginning to plan to mitigate that thing without any cost to the student, without any cost to their faculty. This is the kind of thinking I like. This is the kind of planning I appreciate. Whether it's necessary or not, it's irrelevant. You're still giving them their normal on-campus life. Yes. And in the last couple of weeks, they're going to go to an online class thing, basically while they prepare for finals. Yes. That's so it. The, the last two days of classes will be online, will be oh, remote days, only. Not even, not even weeks. Yeah. Ben said it's. Uh, this is very smart, and I, I agree with you. I agree. Well, I think everybody the should do this. Before it ever gets there, man, that's all I want people to do is just an, an old man once taught me long, long time ago. I'll give you a little coaching life lesson here. A little lesson. Once taught me a wise man learns from his mistakes. A wiser man learns from the mistakes of others. The wisest man plans for everything. And I said, what do you mean by that? And he said, one day, Chris, you're going to get married. I said, yeah. And he said, what are you going to do when you walk in the house and you find your wife sitting in tears and she tells you, I'm sorry, over the last month, I've racked up $28,000 in credit card bills on us. And you got joint count and everything. What are you going to do? How are you going to handle that? And I was like, oh, my God, I, I, got, I got no idea. And he said, see, you need to think about that. Because if that day ever comes, you can be prepared in how you want to respond or handle this, and you won't fly off the handle and throw her ass out the window. He said, yeah, this, this, yeah. this is the wisest of men. And he said, so that, so I, I mean, I go through life thinking about random things that might happen to my kids, to my wife, to me, whatever. And you're preparing. And how would I handle that? What would I do if this happened? It takes no energy. I got enough dead time in my day to think about random crap all day long. And I like what this, this school president's doing. Well, I like what South Carolina is absolutely doing is they're saying, Hey, we don't know. Well, here's the thing. I know that flu season is bad every year, and it's always bad around finals, and that kills a lot of kids trying to take finals. Let's see if we can mitigate that problem. And even if we never have the coronavirus again, but we have the flu every year, maybe we can get out in front of this problem. Yes. And it costs us 
Nothing. Oh, so in the middle of October, you don't get to go drunk, get drunk and go somewhere for a week. Well, like it's, it's not, not, a, it's not even week. a week. Fall break is, is just a couple of days. So basically, well, not it's every university. Weekend. Some universities are. It is a week. It, when some, I was in Washington, I guess. it was a week. Now I know now that at, was 15 years ago. At Memphis, it is like it's a Monday and Tuesday, and at South okay. Carolina, it's a Monday and Tuesday. And that's fine. But that's yeah. it. Like, but like but, but you're, things like that. Yeah, also, just a great idea. Absolutely great idea. Uh, ben said, and if now the whole, you had a really long Christmas break. Ben said, if the whole country did stuff like this and prepared before this became a pandemic, everything would be much better. Yeah, I mean, if, if we the just country have to did this, think about what would you do if this crazy shit happened. But it's got to be things that you can control. Like if yes. I start planning for what happens if nuclear holocaust happens, no one cares because I don't have the ability to make any decisions. Well, and and so what I'm, if you prepare for the, 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 the wrong thing? Like you can't prepare for every single thing. But but you prepare for a bunch of stuff, and yeah. then a lot of things kind of overlap how you would handle them. Yeah, Damien said the coronavirus right? is the flu. It's just a different type of coronavirus. It's, it's yeah, not the okay. flu. But Listen, it's, I'm not going to get into the science yeah, of it because we, we, do we don't know the science. It doesn't of it. matter what we call it. Yeah, but whatever we call it, it is what it is. People miss and a lot of work in November and December because of, because the, of flu. the flu. Yeah, 100%. So forget so, about whatever this is. So if this is, and we don't know right yeah. now that this thing will pop back up, but there's a chance that there could be a second wave of it. And it could be going down right now because South it is Carolina getting normal. will be done with their shit by then. They won't care. Exactly. They're going to be perfectly fine. them. Holy crap. You got it right. You got it right. All right. We wait.